Dan Lanning. Georgia's defensive coordinator is set to be the next Oregon Ducks head coach. Man, uh, nothing but respect for Dan. Uh, Dan Lanning is definitely one of the best defensive coordinators ever uh, coached at the University of Georgia. Um, he, he's been a phenomenal uh, aspect to the team. He's been, with, he's been with the team since 2018. He's been a defensive coordinator the past uh, three seasons, including this one. And he is going to be coaching to the playoff with Georgia. He's not going to Oregon, which is uh, good. I'm glad he's not leaving. Um, um, but, yeah, man, uh, he's going to Oregon. That's crazy. That's, that's a crazy job. Like, you know, Oregon, you think of Oregon, you think of all the uniform colors. You think of it's kind of a, a blue blood school. Uh, they're just a very popular place, um, but they've not really accomplished much, and they're just a popular place. And so, uh, I'm happy for them. I knew this. I knew this was coming. I knew somebody was going to get Dan. I was hoping it wasn't going to be nobody in the SEC. Um, but I'm happy for Dan. I mean, the dude deserves it. He has balled out uh, all the years he's been a defensive coordinator. Now, how? Now, the only thing that might be uncertain is how much of that was really him or Kirby because Kirby is you know him and Dan were always side by side on the defense on the field so we're gonna find out how Oregon plays how he can coach him up um and the thing that's exciting is Georgia plays Oregon next next year in week one that's the exciting part we're gonna see Kirby versus Dan in week one um so we're going to, I think it's going to be interesting. Now, uh, will Georgia lose that game? No, I don't think we're going to lose to Oregon. But uh, it's going to be a good game, though. And I'm, I'm interested. I'm looking forward to seeing that game now because now it has, like, a little backstory to the game. Before it was just Georgia and Oregon. Now it's Dan versus Kirby. So be interesting to see. Um, Yeah, you know, I, I'm happy for Dan. I'm happy he – uh. This is his first head coaching job. He's been a graduate assistant, um, an analyst. This was actually his first. Uh, he was a coordinator or a co-defensive coordinator, I think. He's been in a couple places. He's been at Arizona State. Uh, he was at Pittsburgh. He was with Alabama 2015 as an analyst. He, he's been he's been a bunch of little like he's been in a couple big name schools, but doing small jobs. Um, but. But yeah, you know, it's his first head coaching job, and it's Oregon. That's a big time. That's that's a pretty good first head coach job. Like, I mean, you know, most most time, most of the time, head coaches start at a small place or a no name place, and they work their way up. Um, like Nick Saban, for example. Nick Saban started uh, college coaching. Was it Louisiana Lafayette or it wasn't it? Uh, wasn't it? Wasn't it one of those small schools? I'm probably I'm probably completely wrong. Um, but he Nick Saban started at a small school. Um, I don't think it was Louisiana Lafayette. I don't. I, it might have been. I don't know. I think it was. I think it was. He was at a small school and he made his way up. So for you know, and, and that's incredible for Dan to start there. I hope Dan has success. This is for his first head coaching job. So be interesting to see what happens. Um, hopefully he don't pull no Georgia recruits. And I don't think he will because I think the majority of the recruits are going for Kirby instead of Dan, which is why I'm glad we have Kirby for that reason because Kirby draws recruits. And I don't know how much Dan uh, draws recruits. I don't know. Like I said, uh, he's he, he's an awesome guy. I mean, a super talented uh, coordinator. But, uh, yeah, it, it sucks we're losing him. But that's what happens. I mean, when you have a good team, I mean, you're going to lose coordinators every couple of years. You know, we lost Mel Tucker in 2017 after the national championship year uh, we played Alabama in the Natty that year that was his final game so um, he went to Michigan State and now he's the highest he uh, paid head coach or one of the highest paid head coaches now he's making more than Kirby Smart Michigan Michigan State paid that man big money but uh, yeah um, you know like I said it's awesome that Dan's going to be a head coach I'm sure that's what he wants to do hopefully Hopefully he's not being ran out of town by Kirby, but uh, I hope nothing but the best for Dan. Uh, I tell you, I tell you what, um, I'm surprised that he didn't. Well, I don't think he would have left to go be a defensive coordinator somewhere else. Um, I know Clemson needs a defensive coordinator now. 
And there might be another school that needs one, but Clemson needs it. Clemson needs a defense coordinator and an offensive coordinator. So um, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, from what I've been told and what I've seen, the replacement uh, is going to be Glenn Schumann and Will Muschamp will be the co-defensive coordinators going forward. Now, I don't now I read that like they're gonna that's gonna be the co-defensive coordinators next season because Dan's in the playoff. He's gonna be coaching the playoff. Um and I really hope this don't have no distraction because this really I really don't want it to have a distraction. Honestly, um I don't I don't think it will. I don't think it will. But I just I just hope that you know, the, I don't know who Glenn Schumann is. Uh, that name sounds familiar. I don't know who that is. But Will Muschamp, as soon as I heard Dan Lanning was out and going to Oregon, Will Muschamp was the first thing that popped into my mind because I know he's he he was on our team as a defensive analyst, and, that, and he moved into the special teams coordinator position when he got he had um, he's having some personal problems, and so he he was still with the team but off the field right now and just. He was having some personal issues. And so Will Muschamp stepped in for him to be the special teams coordinator. And so Will Muschamp, I, I guarantee you that he will eventually become the full-time defensive coordinator for Georgia. And I, I see it happening. Him and Kirby are best friends. Kirby brought him over when he got fired by South Carolina. And don't get me wrong. I know people want me to think, oh, Will Muschamp's garbage. No, he's not. He's a garbage head coach. But defensive coordinator, you, you look at when he was at Florida, South Carolina, their defenses were always top 15, top 10 defenses. And that, those two teams when he was there were not the greatest teams. They weren't. I mean, they didn't have the greatest offenses. or they. they I mean, they, they, they just weren't the best teams when he was at Carolina them two years, three years, and in Florida them a couple of years. So he's a great defensive coach. Uh, but the Glenn Schumann, I might not even say his name right. Um, I'm not too sure who Glenn Schumann is. He, that name sounds really familiar. I, is that the special teams coordinator? I, the one that was out? I don't know. No, I don't. No, no, no. That's not him. I don't know who that is. He, but it said the article said those two will be the co defense coordinators moving forward. So I'm like, does that mean next season? Like, are we not going to hire a defensive coordinator? Like, or is that going to be through the off season? Until we get one, because I don't want a co. I mean, I don't. I don't I've never. We've never had co defensive coordinators. I don't think. So I'm interested to see uh, what we're gonna do with that. But uh, yeah, Will Muschamp. That was the first thing that came to my mind when I heard about Dan Lanning leaving. Was Will Muschamp's probably gonna get the defensive coordinator job? And I think, I think that's kind of what he was waiting on too to pop up because he knew Dan was eventually gonna leave. I mean, that's what happens when you have a successful defense. Like, when, when coordinators are successful, they get looked at. And so, Dan, this is his first time getting looked at. As a head. Now, he did turn down a job last year. He turned down the Texas job. Now, I, I'm sorry that I can't remember it, but it was either the Texas head coach job that Steve Ar uh, Steve Arkeesian, Artesian took, whatever his name is, Arkeesian. Steve Arkeesian, his job, or the Texas defensive coordinator job. He turned down one of those two. He was offered one of those. They offered Dan. I, I want to say he turned down the Texas head coach job. I want to say he did. Um, probably a good thing he did because Texas is kind of a dumpster fire. But Oregon, on the other hand, um, he has potential. Um, I'm hoping nothing but the success out of Dan. He's going to the Pac-12, uh, a conference that really – doesn't get a lot of hype and you know not a lot of attention, and maybe he maybe Dan could take over the uh, Pac-12. He might could do it. I don't know. I mean, he's a defensive guy. If he can make a defensive, if he can make a defensive team in the Pac-12, it's pretty might be pretty successful. But you got to have some offense too. But um, you can't be one dimensional. But anyway, congrats to Dan. I'm happy for the guy. He's been awesome at Georgia. It sucks he's leaving. But, uh, man, I wish him nothing but the best. I hope he's at Oregon for a long time. I hope he wins him some some Pac-12 titles. And I uh, hope, he, hope he might, might get him to the playoff. Who knows? But uh be interesting to see what happens next year because Georgia does play Oregon in week one next year. But 
that's all for that so hopefully uh hopefully old dan don't beat us next year and go dogs peace